Hey guys, it's William here. In today's video, what I'm gonna show you are tools that you need to help scale your agency. When I was first starting out, like a lot of you, I didn't have a team. I didn't have a bunch of VAs helping me in my own little personal army, if you will, um, to do all the tasks that I do on a regular basis, whether they be SEO, web design, content, social media publishing, video, whatever it may be. I didn't have the team, therefore a lot of it I had to do manually. Whenever I first got started, I was spending eight hours a day doing everything that I now do in automation, but I was doing it manually. And in today's video, what I wanna show you are some of these tools, what they can help you with, whether that be research, web designer, SEO, or marketing. I'm gonna lay it all down. Some of them are free, some of them are not. None of these are my paid affiliates. They're all just giving you information that will help you scale your agency or even start out your own agency if you're brand new in the marketing niche. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So the first tool I'm gonna use is Magix. Magix helps me with all of my pay-per-click. It doesn't matter what platform, it's an all-in-one platform that I can use. I can use it for my Facebook ads, I can use it for my Google ads, YouTube, Instagram, the messenger bots, everything beautiful thing about it it's backed by artificial intelligence or AI so it tells me and it gives me the analytics without me having to know what's best it doesn't matter if it's for an agency enterprise or just a small entrepreneur it's going to tell me via the analytics without me having to look at them what is best what changes need to be made and it's going to help me tweak and test if you will and get the optimal results so I'm gonna be using Magix if I was starting all over. Awesome! The next one I'm gonna use, and I talk about this a lot, is gonna be Answer the Public. Answerthepublic.com. I can enter in any phrase, any keyword I want, and it's gonna tell me what the public, what people are looking for, what people wanna know, and therefore I'm gonna write my content around the conversation that's already taking place out in the marketplace. It's the best way to make sales. The best way to make sales is not by inventing a new topic or a new conversation that might not even been taking place. We want to find out with Answer the Public what is actually being taken place already, what's being talked about. Whatever it is, that's what we're going to talk about. I love rumors. The next thing. We need some images, especially for our landing pages. I'm gonna go, this is gonna be for free, high resolution photos. It's not something I'm gonna have to pay for. You know, they do have paid versions and unpaid versions of these. But in this specific one, I can come in here and use images, and I can grab some images, if you will, that are gonna do pattern interrupts, especially with my ads, which is highly, highly important. And especially when you, as a business owner, are first starting out, you're not wanting to spend money on every new tool that comes around with shiny object syndrome. What a time to be alive. The next tool, if you're trying to do lead generation, it is called Hunter.io. It's amazing because you don't want to be out there spending all your time trying to find what's the email address for so-and-so. With Hunter, I can literally enter in their information and it will find their professional email address in seconds. And it will then connect me to them so therefore I can start getting some more leads in. Another amazing tool that is free is Google Data Studio. It's what it is. It takes all your data from Google, it puts all of it in one place, you can explore it, and then you can empower your team or yourself, if you will, to filter and organize the data as they need it and put it in one awesome awesome report yeah! Yeah! now one of the other things that have come out since i have started especially is artificial intelligence whether that be for seo whether that be for content no matter what it is you are going to be using artificial intelligence or ai one of my favorite ones is going to be phrase Phrase helps me write better content and it helps me write a hell of a lot faster. It helps me with my research. It helps me with writing it out and putting it all together, especially when it comes to SEO. If you're not using Phrase, I don't know what the hell you're doing. Give it to me. 
another artificial intelligence program is going to be Market Muse. Market Muse also helps me with content research and writing. It helps me get discovered by people. So I can start not just publishing one article here or one article there, but I can publish a lot of articles, a lot of blogs, a lot of content. The key to being known or getting known, especially as a brand new agency, is going to be producing as much content on as many platforms as possible to get your name out there. And I'm gonna be using Market Moves to help me. Okay. Pretty doggone amazing. Okay, the next one's gonna be Clear Scope. Clear Scope helps me drive more traffic. It helps me via artificial intelligence. Why? It helps me once again produce results via content. It's another content tool just like Jarvis and Emma Market Moose. So we're gonna be using multiple tools. Another one, especially for SEO, is gonna be SEO Scout. I can take SEO Scout and it's gonna take my website and it can analyze my website, show me how to improve it, show me how to optimize my content, my content silos, and if you will, my keyword clouds, etc., using all of its analytical tools. It does it all on autopilot for me, so it cuts my time in half. Guiding others to a treasure I cannot possess. Finally, but not least, I'm gonna be using Grammarly. Grammarly, I suck at grammar, so I'm gonna need Grammarly to help me with my grammar especially knowing I have people that be like, oh my God, I can't believe you said that word. It's not the right word, etc., etc. because I suck at grammar. So that's the last tool that I would honestly suggest, if you will, if you're just starting out, just starting an agency, trying to escape that nine to five or whatever. Let me know what tools you use currently by commenting below. What tools do you think are the best? If you were starting out as an agency owner, brand new, what tools do you think are the most needed. My name is William. I have over 20 years of SEO experience. I appreciate you guys. I've scaled anything from having just four clients to where we're at now, helping hundreds of clients, and we're a seven-figure agency. So if you have any questions whatsoever, make sure to drop them below, and I'd love to do a video answering those questions. Until next time, you guys be blessed and have a great day. So many SEOs that hate me and say that I'm still in their methods They bitching and cry, labeling me SEO Black Hatter was a nobody, now I'm at the top Most wanted, most loved, bad business owners And hated by most